the loca. High as a kite, never sober. Shit python, hit him with a cobra. Fill up my bro, Casson. I have come up with like the craziest discovery, discovery, whatever, right? We have all been fasting. Like, you don't even have to be Muslim. Like, we have all been fasting without even noticing it. What do you do in the morning? Breakfast. Break fast. That's why it's called break fast, because you're breaking your fast. The whole night you haven't eaten anything or drink anything. Do you, you get it? Do you get it? You're breaking your fast. That means every single person in this world has been fasting every day without even knowing it. That 8 to 7 to 9 to 10 hours of sleeping and not eating or drinking is fasting. And that's why it's called break fast. <laughs> Let's eat oxygen. Oxygen french fry. Good. Oxygen hot dog. Good. Oxygen burger. Good. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. I got your back. From right here. Hey, son, play a sheet for me. Okay, Dad. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. Get a sonogram earlier, and guess what? It's a boy. Yay! What are you gonna name him? Thank you so much for asking. Me and my husband have been thinking long and hard about it. And we think we have the perfect trendy masculine name. Get this. Dookie. Dookie. Like, imagine. Hey, little Dookie. Cute little Dookie. My little ball of joy Dookie. Mama loves you. Mama loves her Dookie. Yes, she does. Mama loves her Dookie. I love it. I'm speechless. Yeah, and then, thank you for saying that, first of all. And then we were thinking about second name. We could do something else that was trendy. Very Hollywood. Stain. Dookie Stain. I think it just rolls off the tongue per- You don't drink or smoke? OMG, you're boring. No, I'm Muslim. I'm not boring. And the fact that you're telling me about being boring when the only time you can have fun is when you're intoxicated. That's not even the real you. I eat normal brownies from Sainsbury's. You have fun when you feed yourself with a weed brownie. I have fun sober. That's me. You have fun when you're high into the clouds, into the moons, drunk into I'm not even gonna say it but shush Ya sabah al falafel wal hummus wal babagh al nawr Remember me Ramses My shoes are from Converse and my PTSD is from Israel My pants are from Primark and my daddy issues are from Baba My vest from Saudi and my therapist is from Northrow Call me back, Katie. So my abaya is from South Africa and my country was colonized by the British. My pants are from Primark and my claws from TikTok. My shirt is from Shein and my claws from my younger sister. My pants are from Tommy and my anger issues are from my grandma. Jackets from Ralph Lauren and my traumas from the Syrian war. <laughs> So class, this is um the thickest person in the world. Hey, don't be shy. Don't be shy. I literally don't have something. <laughs> OMG, we captured this on camera.
This cute girl asked her mom to take a pic with us. She pretended to take a pic to catch this photographer on camera taking pictures of us. Imagine if we found him and asked for results lol. I just told my mom that I'm going to a party so I can go play Tarawe. It's my first ever Tarawe. I'm hella excited. I'm literally with my brothers, look. Yeah, yeah. We just had iftar. We had like some Afghanistan food. Some Afghan rice. It was so nice. I'm so full. It hurts the walk. Yeah. Well, you broke your wudu because you farted. Yeah. Bro, I, I literally don't want the wudu. I left. <laughs> <laughs> We took too long to do a wudu. We're gonna be late now. What was going on today was coming in and they have. <sighs> oh my god. No, Wallahi, when I was in Sajud, I thought I was gonna vomit. I felt the food come up. That was hella fun, man. I really enjoyed that. That was like. I felt very, very spiritual. I'm very close to Allah. I feel blessed right now, man. You know, surrounded by greatness. Come on, Bubu, get up. Yalla, oom. I don't know. I really don't know. Bringing my non Muslim friend to the mosque for the first time. He was trying to find slides without any water in it. He's very nervous to pray for the first time, lol. Iftar time. Food bussin. Alright, so how how was um your first time being in the mosque? Like, how was the experience? Experience was like amazing, bro. I mean, like honestly, it really opened me up spiritually, and like I just think that like it connected me to a self that I've never known before. Like, I mean, I've never been much of the religious guy, but like after that experience, I just thought. Maybe I should be Muslim. Every eye I can't see straight. Falling hard, I'm off my face. Never gonna come down. You're turning me up. You're turning me up. Put up, put up, put up, put up, put up, put up, put up. Yeah. Let's do it. Say wallah. Let me pick you up in my Let me tell you about the time my mother, my mother became my wing woman and peep the blue. This is this is this might be my color. So there was this guy that I thought was so cute. So cute. But I've seen better, okay? I was probably like 17 or 18 at the time and I used to go to Duxi and I guess his mother was one of the teachers and I didn't know that my friends told me so you know I tell my mother everything I'm like mom so and so son is so cute she's like oh I know them you what so this one Juma we went to the same masajid and my mom saw her so you know they said their salam to each other salam alaikum wa alaikum salam how are you sister very good alhamdulillah and my mom goes you see my daughter right there she said salam alaikum idil asr wa alaikum salam I'm not gonna say her name and my mom goes your son and my daughter would be so cute together the sister goes you know what no I was just kidding mom he was only cute protect me and guide me Cool, here are four things that feel haram, but they're not. Let's go! Numero uno is the maddest one. Skipping Islamic videos, lectures, quotes, anything Islamic related, just scrolling past, especially on TikTok. You just have to go back, like it, share it, comment, mashallah, or something. Otherwise, that guilt is going to stick in your heart forever. Number two, this one here, yeah, it can't be only me. Reciting Surah Ikhlas in every single prayer. Why do we do it? 
We know of a source. Why do we do it? Number three, I think this one might feel the worst. You know when you hear the adhan and you turn it off. You have a reason to turn it off, you're out. But the fact you're declining the call to prayer is just so mad to me. And number four, drinking and eating during Eid. You just feel so out of place. Like, why am I eating? Why am I drinking? Did I break my fast? Malik, I'm trying to get naked. Ah! <laughs> ah. I'm just trying to bang. Yo, what? I'm just trying to bang. Allah. Uh, 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 I'm got that pure leaf. <laughs> Allahumma salli al nabi. Snitching on me, you snitch, you snitch. You snitch. Snitch. You snitch. Hi. Oh, hi. I know it's very hard because it's Ramadan, so I have some water for you. Uh, I am Muslim. I do Ramadan. I just want to give it to you and you can drink later after you finish. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank no you. Thank you. Uh, it's from my heart, oh, so just keep you. them. Look, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Have a Ya Rabbal Alameen Allahu This car is sick. Hiding next to nothing. Mom, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. Who was that? That was, that was my girl. You call your girl mom? I got a girl. There you go. I love Eid. Hello? Isla, where are you? Hello, man. I'm trying to get my Eid haircut. I've been waiting for ages. Yeah, man. Hurry up. Ash? It's my boy. I give you ball cut for free. Eid is all about family time. What do we do now then? I wanted to be the car man. Nah bro, we could that. Nah, is always in jail for. And you're always buying the corner shop. Ah. <laughs> Come make it star with me. The Adon just happened. What I'm about to show you is actually happening to people as we speak. Just imagine if it happened to you. Jacob, you know this is not your house. Yes, but if I go, you don't go back. So what's the problem? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do this. I didn't do this. But you're, it's you're, easy to yell at me, but I didn't do this. Yeah, you are watching. stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is gonna steal it. No, no one, no one uh, 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 is allowed to steal it, Yami. You thought I'd show you guys only one video about what's going on in Palestine? Nah, I got you. Here's another one. We take house after house. Uh, all this area uh, will be a Jewish neighborhood. We are not finished the job. We are, we are going to the next neighborhood and after that we will go more. Our uh, dream that uh, all East Jerusalem uh, will be like uh, West Jerusalem, Jewish capital of Israel. I see this as a Jewish community. It's a Jewish community. It's a Jewish community. It's a Oh, hey there. Looking good today. I know you're on TikTok to have fun and everything, but let me tell you this. 
Do you know what's going on in Palestine? Well, if you don't, here's a snippet of what's going on. Don't mind me, I'm just coexisting. No, bestie, I don't know if anyone told you, but this is Palestinian land. I've lived here for years. No. You see, I don't know why you keep saying that, because you have your land, I have my land. Thought we came to a consensus, so you coming in would kind of be illegal. I don't care, this is Israel. Okay, cool. Can you just step out of my house, please? He said this is Israel. Oh god, well I mean I don't have a gun, but if I did this would be a fair fight. I made a TikTok showing real clips of what's going on in Sheikh Zavah, but TikTok took it down because it's more violent than we think. So let's please share this video and let's fight against censorship. Just because you are not Palestinian, just because you're not Arab, just because you're not Muslim doesn't mean you're not, you cannot speak about the Palestinian issue. Imagine sitting in your own home and having someone come inside, knocking on your door, telling you, get out, this is my house now. How will you react? How will you feel? Imagine sitting in your own country and having someone say, okay, this is our country now. We're going to treat you like garbage. We're going to kill you. We're going to separate your family. We're going to rape you. We're going to do all these disgusting things to you. And the whole world is just going to sit here and watch. No one's going to do anything to help you. Imagine how would you feel because if you are a privileged person and you have never worried about racism You have never worried about anything in your life Then you most likely are not talking about this topic and if you are not Then you should be speaking up and letting the world know if you have any type of platform Then you should use it use it to talk about Palestinians use it to talk about black lives matter use it to talk about anything that can help people around the world Just an idea now normally I'm posting heartfelt videos But this issue that's going on in Palestine and Sheikh Jarrah it's heartfelt to me. The Palestinians want TikTok because they wake up every day and they have to go through this foolishness from these evil oppressors, yet they still never give up. Yet they still wake up every day and they try and they fight for their rights, even though they are being oppressed left and right. And these evil groups of people that are oppressing the Palestinians, they have not only broke international laws, they are not only going against the UN, but they just don't care. These people are heartless. The Palestinians want TikTok. Free them. Free that region. I came here to make a statement. Okay, I came here because freedom of religion is important for me. I came here because this, what's going on here right now is, in, is outrageous. And I seriously suspect Netanyahu for doing that. If Netanyahu's hand is here, okay, if Netanyahu's hand was actually if Netanyahu decided to stop Muslims from going to pray at the most important place for them, at the most important day, this is like treason, okay? He's not only, in their, he's not only violating their rights of religion, he's also endangering peace in this land. <laughs> Got the whole club looking at her